In this tutorial, we will show you how to work with data using shortcuts in Excel. When you press the Control End key, you will be taken to the last row and the last column which was used by you. In the video, column AI and row 36 represent the last cell. Usually what happens is we sometimes copy something in the sheet and use it as a rough work area. We delete it later on, but Excel remembers the range of the sheet that you have been to. In our case, it was row 36. In the video, we will go to row 154, type in something, and then delete it. Now when you go to the top and press Control End key, it will take you to the row 154 and column AI. An issue regarding the selection is related to continuity of the data. This means that if you press Control A in order to select all the data while being in a cell which has data in it, it will only select the cells up to the area where there is continuity. However, if you click on any empty cell and press Control A there, the whole sheet gets selected. An easy way of selecting the data in an entire column is that when you select a cell, a box appears around it. Double click on the bottom line of the box while pressing the Shift and the Control key. If you press only the Control key, then you will be taken to the last cell which has data, but it will not get selected. You can select entire rows using the same trick, but this time you will have to double click on the right side of the box. If there are any hidden rows or columns, click on the top left button, which selects the entire sheet, and then double click on the divider of the rows or columns, and the hidden rows or columns will be displayed. Let's suppose we do not want to copy certain rows. Simply select them and right click on them. Choose the hide option. Now copy all the data and paste it in a new sheet. Notice that although the rows were hidden when we copied the data, still the hidden rows were copied. In order to avoid this, when you select your data, press Alt semicolon, and only the visible data will be selected. The lines will show you the start and the end point of the hidden data. Another way of selecting the visible data is by going to the Find and Select button, and from the drop-down menu, selecting the Go to Special option. When the box appears, click on the radio button of Visible Cells Only, and click on the OK button.